Hey HuffPost readers, this is Taylor. I am here in Galesburg, Illinois, sitting down with a tall speaker with a tall personality, former Miss North Carolina oh gosh, 50, 50 years, years ago. ago. Are you sure it wasn't 40? <laughs> if we had a typo somewhere. <laughs> uh, 50 years, it's my jubilee year. It's your jubilee if year. If Queen Elizabeth can have a jubilee, I can have a jubilee year. <laughs> I hear you have a big birthday coming up. Oh, I do. <laughs> I'm going to turn 70 next month. And no, no way. way. Oh, it just cannot be. <laughs> now, you are married to someone named Jerry. Well, and we've heard you describe <laughs> Jerry as left. We've brain. created almost a monster. His name is Jerry, and so that's what people call him because that's his name. I call him LB for left brain. Left brain people are so detailed. They're overly organized people. They just, you've heard of not seeing the forest for the tree. They see a pine cone <laughs> going in, and that's it. Everything else is gone. Not to say they're not smart or creative. My right. husband has a doctor. But that's a piece of paper you put on a wall when, there, <laughs> when there's a challenge. That's, nothing, that's a piece of paper has nothing to do. The right brain people are more creative people. They're out there people. The best way to sum it up is left brain people want things in order. Right brain people hear the word order and we think food must be on the way. <laughs> just, one of my greatest treats is to tell a story and look out in the audience. And although I don't know, if I were just going to guess, I would say, Here's a woman, the way she's dressed, she's from Texas, you've been there, you know, or the South, she's dressed up, she's just got, got her hair pulled back in a bow, and then over here's an African-American woman, and she's got on something else, and the, I've talked to her before the speech, and she's from maybe New York, and I've got somebody from over here, and they're all laughing at the same thing, because none of the material is going after the, the things like that. It's going about the fact that we all have arm flab, <laughs> that our husbands or wives can't hang the pictures right. It's the things that we do every day. And so I just go around the country looking for it. That's a, it's, a, it's a great thing to see that, that we have a lot more in common than we do out of common, and it's, it's a shame we dwell so often on the other. And you were at the Grand Ole Opry. Oh, I was on the Grand Ole Opry twice, and I don't, don't sing, and I don't play an instrument. <laughs> so, so they say, walk out, it'd be funny for about eight minutes, I can do it, I say, and I yeah. did it twice. I'm, I'm active in the speaking world. I'm past president of the National Speakers Association, you know, thousands of us. And I hear a lot of my friends say, uh, I'm gonna die out there on stage with a microphone. Uh, are you kidding? You have, I might not be land right. You know, I don't want to. <laughs> I don't, no, I don't want to go out there when the time's right. I just got to look for the humor traveling around. Well, so, speaking of looking for the humor, uh, I know you get asked uh, a lot of questions and you get interviewed all the time and you're a classy gal. So I thought I'd ask you some questions that I'm pretty sure I feel some confidence that you've never been asked. Oh, before. never heard of. Do you have any superstitions? No. Not any? Nope. No superstitions. You know, I'm a basketball player, and um, I wrote one time about my husband who played basketball in college, taking dirty clothes with him to play badminton because he plays in the senior game. And people got all upset and said, what's wrong with that thing? No, it's lucky. You won in these socks last time, so you take them and <laughs> go on. I don't have a single so superstition. So left brain in your relationship is superstitious. Yes. But you are not. No, I am not there superstitious. You have you ever been pulled over? For driving fast? Yes, yeah. I have. Have you? Fast? Oh, I just about got pulled over on the way up here. That's why you I called and said you were late. <laughs> well, see, when I, I get pulled over, that's when I get real southern. <laughs> no, I said, oh, Lord, have mercy. How fast was I going? <laughs> Who won't work in the South? We all talk like that. <laughs> I got pulled over one time in a in a convertible with Miss North Carolina written on the side. <laughs> 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 People are going by. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> no, uh, I've gotten pulled over, sure. Okay. Peanut butter, chunky or smooth? Smooth. Smooth? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're in the middle. You know why? Why is that? I eat peanut butter all the time. Because I'm on a diet. <laughs> oh, there's less so, calories. There's less cat peanuts have a lot of calories. <laughs> so you just feel like, although you know you're adding it on, you're not adding quite as right. much on. Yeah. Okay, orange juice, pulp or no pulp? Pulp. Ah, pulp. thank you. Thank pulp. you so much. What's a food you can't stand? 
I'm not going to eat any liver, and I'm not even going to sit at the <laughs> table with liver. I'll take my menu, and I'll try to put it up between you and me, but if I can smell it, I'll leave. I'll just leave. And, you know, as a banquet speaker, I've done everything oh, sure. with a chicken, but dance with it. And I, <laughs> one night I dreamed that I was in a platter in the middle of a huge table, and chickens were all around with their forks going, Get her! Get her! Get her! <laughs> the toilet paper, does uh -huh. the flap go over the top or does it come under the bottom? It doesn't matter. It doesn't it, matter. It, no, it Some doesn't matter. people are really, if you get that wrong, yeah, you're you in get trouble. that wrong. I know it, but apparently it's a big deal with the toothpaste and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. No, no, it nope, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter to Which you. does it to you? Oh, it's got to be over. It has to be over. Uh, yeah, totally. Why? Because when you pull it out, it spins around too fast. You, yeah, you use too much of it. Okay, well, you know, all you got to do is smash the thing and not keep it from being round. That's what the hotels do. You, you pull one tuck and it pulls off because they've smashed it so much that it yeah, won't yeah. go around and around, around. Don't tell that friend about that mashing it together because he'll go around our house. Oh, he's, he's also it's frugal. It's got to be a better way. He's, in North Carolina, we spell frugal C H E A P. <laughs> <laughs> he's a deer. What's the weirdest thing you always have with you in your head about? You know, I guess I'm one of those people who says, if, if I'm on the plane and somebody has a heart attack, I can take over. I keep aspirin. I don't take aspirin, but I keep some little <laughs> aspirin right here, just in case. Just in case. The old physical education major, first aid teacher, oh, and he comes out. And so for somebody who never uses it, it's kind of weird, but I keep it. Have you ever been in a physical fight? With my sister growing up, but not now. <laughs> and with her, One. only once. Oh my gosh, I tower over her. She's 5'5". Five five. Wow. She, I know, and I'm 6'2". We don't ask questions. We just don't ask questions. <laughs> Recurring nightmare? Do you ever have a nightmare? Whoa, I've had one nightmare for years. I'm on the outside. I cannot get into the auditorium and they're introducing me. It, you know, not problem. every night, but several times a year. You're banging on the door and they're saying, we don't know where the speaker is, but I can't get anybody to let me in. Isn't that something? Yeah, do you ever get in? Uh-uh, never no, get in. Never, I wake up. I sit up. I wake up. Any tattoos? No tattoos. No tattoos. What's your first memory? Do you have a first memory? Well, yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> first memory. I think playing out in the street barefooted in the south, we would play in the tar. They would come along tar in the roads in the summer and they would make little bubbles and our parents would say, stay out of the tar. And we'd put our foot in it and then of course you can't get it off. And they, they would get upset. But there is that, that period there where they bubble up and you want to pop the bubble with your foot. <laughs> Maybe that's why some of the people in where I live are called the Tar Heels. Okay, what's a bad Christmas present you've been given? Oh, me. Left brain. I couldn't, he, I said to left brain, he's very frugal, and I said to him, at Christmas, are you going to give me, a, first he said, let's make it $10. And for years I agreed to him, and I thought, this is absurd. We can pay to give each other. <laughs> and he said, but honey, I have no idea what you want. And I said, I can show you what I want. I give you hints all year, and you don't pick up on it. So I picked up that butterfly can opener, that you mash the thing down and hold it and you do like this and open a can, it breaks your wrist. And I said, the electric can opener has been broken for months. And I said, and I am breaking my wrist with this thing. It's old and it'll barely turn. And you know what I wanted for Christmas. What would you think I wanted? The electric can Of course, he brought me a new one of the ones that did like this. <laughs> I just thought, will you go you? You can't make this stuff. He said, you picked it up and showed it to me and said it was hard to do. And I said, I did not. <laughs> and people say, where do you get your material? I'm sure. Correct. Yeah. Do you know who Snooky is? He's somebody that the young people, he sings or raps. Does he sing or rap? <laughs> I know Neither about Snickers. No. Snickers? Okay. Who is Snooky? Snooky is a, is a, well, she's a, a reality TV it's star. A it's a she. It's a she. I would have thought it was a rap or something. Well, do you know who Honey Boo Boo is? I know who Honey Boo Boo you know is. Lord she, have mercy. She's falling in the Oh, no, please. <laughs> please. Um, when I entered the only pageant I've ever been in, I was a rising junior in college. And I knew what I was doing, and I made that decision. And I knew that I could win scholarships and travel for a year and everything. Mm -hmm. I don't know if, who's making the decisions for Honey Boo Boo. Well, you I, will be I happy to know she retired. 
Well, that, and that type of pageant, holy. Yeah. I'm sorry. I just I didn't <laughs> think it. I worried. I worried about that. I, I laughed when I first saw it, and then I felt sadness. It made me very very sad for that. that they were making fun of that whole uh, people who live like Tony Boo Boo's right. folks, and right. I just a lot of good people. Yeah. are living that way. Yeah. Snooky, does she sing? She doesn't sing. I what does she, she does do? Sing. She drinks alcohol. Oh, she drinks. <laughs> oh, okay. Have you ever broken a bone? Yeah, in my foot, in my arm. Oh, but broke the foot. I just stepped off the curb a few years ago, and then you get the big black boot, which gets you special attention in the airport. So I wore it and, and decorated it with the suit I was in for the day. I mean, you know, I wasn't going to quit sure. speaking. And, uh, and they would good. ride you through the airport. So long after the foot got well, oh. <laughs> I carried my boots. This, this, this is a secret. This is a secret. Have you ever bought anything on eBay? Oh my gosh, everything. Everything. Oh yeah, I buy eBay. I'm an eBayer. Uh, I like uh, you. You. I collect eighteen things, but one. Of, really? Yes, a couple of the things that I collect are silver and china. Oh, there's. And I'm right. big on Facebook. Big on Facebook. So you do your own Facebook? Oh, I do every one of my Facebooks. Have you ever accidentally set something on fire? Oh, sure. <laughs> Other than food. <laughs> Other oh, than food just going up like that. <laughs> yeah, aprons and stuff like that. But I'm not, I have, I have caused, I have not caused a big fire and I hope I do not. You do have questions nobody's asking. Yes, this yes. is fun. Go ahead. Have you ever seen a ghost? I have not. You have not. But. Earlier this week, I was on a show on the Paranormal Network, UFO and Paranormal really? Network. The lady called and said she wanted to do a show on humor, that she'd been on this. And I, I said, I'm up on UFOs. I just saw Independence Day three times in July, the movie Independence Day, <laughs> and you had the terrestrials. I said, I can handle this. Um, I haven't seen any UFOs. Yeah. No, have you? No, I don't. No. And I, on paranormal... And they usually come to our areas. I know. Oh. <laughs> they never go to New York. Where we have people waiting to be interviewed. Yeah. <laughs> oh, do you I have do. any irrational fears? Uh, I don't want to don't wanna die under the water. And I'll tell you why. This is oh, yeah. being in hotel rooms too. I've been in hotel rooms so much that I have on my computer all 249 episodes of the Andy Griffith Show. Plus epilogues. But I typed wow. in myself in the afternoons. I mean, I mean, um, I started thinking about getting out of the hotel if it caught on fire. And you know, you go out in the hall, and then you come back, and you have a key, and you can turn and get in. Then I started thinking, I wonder with the electronic key, if I could get back in. Because you, if, it, sure. if it got to the system. And then I thought, they caught They've talked us into believing that if you go off a bridge and your car goes under, and I used to teach swimming and synchronized and all that. I'm a swimmer. I like to work. But if you go under in the car, do you know what you're supposed to do? What's that? You're supposed to let the window down a little bit and let the water come in because you can't push the door open against the force of the water, okay, too much. But if you get enough water in the car, if you can keep it long together long enough, get enough water in the car, you could open your door and get out. Now that takes a lot of guts to do that, okay? So I started thinking, if with the electronic buttons, you don't have anything to turn you with. <laughs> now you just think about it. So that would be the, my irrational fear. But so we still use this symbol, don't we? We do, we, we don't, use we this don't symbol. sidle up to a car and go. No, no, no. <laughs> as, as someone who's from Kansas but moving to Wisconsin from Texas, I get accused a lot of having a southern accent. But I would say that oh, you have. Huh. Oh, no. <laughs> I would say I do. But I talk like a lot of people. Let me tell you something interesting. I've always been noticed in North Carolina and places because of my height. Or if a convention program said our speaker's six foot two inch, former Miss North Carolina, blah, blah, blah. I'd come in the lobby and people would say, I bet you're our speaker. It's because of the yeah. height. Now, because of the YouTube clips and the Sirius Radio and all of that, going through a buffet line, I'll have to have people turn and say, you're that woman with those clips that recognize my accent. <laughs> <laughs> they say, I heard your voice and I had yes. listened to you in the car. It's really, it's really funny. I just